Okay, good morning, one and all gathered here. So today we are going to see about uh, the basic importance of projection of straight line from the subject called engineering graphics. Let us consider the given problem. The line AB is inclined to both HP and VP. And these are the given dimensions as uh, listed out in the problem statement. So the top view of 75 mm long line AB measures 65 mm, while the length of its front view is 50 mm. Its one end A is in HP and 12 mm in front of the vertical plane. Draw the projections of AB and determine its inclination with HP and VP. So here the main challenge is to identify which is the top view length and front view length. Because there are totally three basic uh, dimension values are given in the problem. See here, the top view of 75 mm long line. Everyone will have a confusion whether this is said to be the top view length or not. But exactly, this is not the top view length. The true length of the line AB, 75 mm long, measures 65 mm. So here, the top view distance is 65 mm and the front view distance is 50 mm. So this is the real understanding of the problem. Okay. So sometimes in order to test your understanding, they will try to twist the question in such a way by giving a statement like this, a 75 mm long line, AB measure 65 mm. So you should not be able to have such confusions. So the 75 mm represents the true length of the line AB. And here 65 mm, this data, which refers about the top view distance. And here one end of the line A is contained on horizontal plane, that is lying on the horizontal plane. And the other end of the line A, the other end of the line AB, is situated 12 mm in front of the vertical plane. So draw the projections of AB and also we have to find out what is theta and pi with reference to front view inclination and top view inclination. Now let us uh, extract the data from the given problem statement. So this is the given data. So line AB whose true length is said to be 75 mm, the top view length is 65 mm, front view length 50 mm, and the distance coordinate for the line AB that is given here, the one end A lies on HP, the other end is 12 mm in front of the vertical plane. That is the front view is lying on the horizontal plane, the top view is located 12 mm in front of the vertical plane. Now. We will see the step-by-step -step procedural manual for uh, solving the problem. So the first step, construct a reference line, XY line on a 2D lamina. Okay, so mark A and A dash. So A dash point is nothing but the location of the line A with reference to the front view on the line XY. And from A dash, bring down the line at a distance of 12 mm in front of the vertical plane and mark this point as A. From A dash, mark front view length 50 mm and make it as B2 dash. Now A dash B2 dash is the front view length. Then next with A dash, a as center, 
take 65 mm as radius, mark B1 on the line A. Now AB1 is the required top view length. From B2 dash, draw a vertical projection line. Similarly, from B1, draw vertical projection line towards upward direction as shown in the figure. Now the next step, mark true length 75 mm, take compass, measure 75 mm with the help of the scale. Okay, now place the compass at the point A dash and cut the arc on the vertical projection line B1. And this is going to be B1 dash. Here, do the same thing for the top view. So take same radius, 75 mm. Mark point B2 on the vertical projection line B2 dash with the A as center. Now join A dash, B1 dash, A, B2. As shown here. Then in the third step, take radius between A dash and B2 dash. With the A dash as center, rotate the front view by cutting an arc. And the arc will meet at the point B dash on the locus of B in front view. Join A dash and B dash as illustrated here. The next step, we have to repeat the same for the top view also. Take radius between A, B1 with A as center. Okay, A, B1 as radius from the point B1. Draw an arc. So it will meet at point B on the locus of B in top view. Join A, B. The next step, the final step, in order to check the 100% the solution accuracy, we need to check whether A dash and A, B dash and B are lying in the same line of projection limit or not. In this problem, both A dash and A, B dash and B are 100% accurate. So they are in the same vertical line projector. So the answer is 100% efficient. So these are the five different steps in which we have to solve the problem for projection of straight line when the line is supposed to be inclined to both HP and VP. So thank you for your patient listening. The next class we are going to see some more problems on projection of points, projection of lines in the future meeting. So thank you very much.